Shalom. I was asked by a student in college to answer some questions uh, from, about Judaism from a perspective of comparative religions. So I'll make a video and answer them very briefly since there's 17 questions. How do you understand your religion? What does your religion mean to you? Well, it means everything to me. Uh, I believe that um, there's a God in the world who wants the Jewish people to live a particular way according to the commandments of the Torah. And that is one of the way we're supposed to live our life. It's not the only path for people, but for the Jewish people, it's the path that God wants us to live. How does your religion affect your everyday life? Well, completely. If you believe that uh, God commands us to live a certain way, then it conducts, it affects the way you conduct yourself with other people. It affects the way in which you spend your time, uh, how you pray, how you eat, uh, the rituals you observe. Three, what does your religion's conception of sacred time? At what times of the day and year do you worship or celebrate? Well, we pray three times a day, plus blessings before and after we eat. We have uh, special weekly Sabbath uh, rituals and prayers. We have many holidays. As the boss of legal final yesterday when the uh, Catholic uh, senior female partner was going to marry the Jewish senior partner, said, well, you have gazillions of holidays, I think she said. Well, we have a lot of holidays, and we worship and celebrate many times during the year. Uh, in the fall, we have Rosh Hashanah, and then Sukkot, and then Hanukkah, and Tu B'Shvat, and Purim, and Passover, and Shavuot, uh, many times. Would you say the religion is more focused on individuals or the social group? What is the nature of the relationship between the individual and the social group? Well, it's individual. The commandments are to the individual. Um, but also, we believe strongly in uh, Jewish peoplehood and Jewish unity. Uh, it's considered to be more propitious to pray in a prayer quorum of ten people than to pray alone. So it's a little bit of both. What is your religion's conception of sacred space? Where do you worship, and is the space seen as more sacred than other places? Well, we're, as uh, Abraham Joshua Heschel said, we're more of a religion of sacred time than sacred space, although we uh, do have great sentiment about the great synagogue in uh, Israel that was destroyed twice, one in 586 B.C. and one in 70 C. We uh, still consider sacred the Holy of Holy uh, Temple Mount area with the Western Wall. Our synagogues are considered to be especially um, purposeful for prayer, but you can pray, pray anywhere. The whole idea is to make all of the wor world uh, worthy of God's glory. What does the religion believe about life and de death and afterlife? Well, uh, we don't like death. Try and postpone it. We try everything we can to beat it, but we know it's inevitable. We mourn it with all kinds of uh, rituals to respect the dead and to try and comfort the bereaved. And we believe that the soul lives on forever, that the body is resurrected, that the Messiah is going to come at some point in the future. Those are all principles of the faith as enunciated by the great Rabbi Maimonides. What would you characterize your religion's understanding of God? Well, we are the ones who taught the world the idea of monotheism. Our um, main statement is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. We don't believe that God is none. We don't believe that God can be two, like the devil, or three, or four, or five. Just God is one. God has no properties of matter. God is um, always was, always will be. God created the universe. It is only right to pray to God. Those are our beliefs. Does your religion recognize sacred persons? If so, no. We have rabbis who are teachers and cantors who lead the prayers, but we don't have any sacred persons. Uh, we did he used to have a high priest uh, and priests uh, before 2,000 years ago, but we today have just teachers of religion we call rabbis and uh, s scholars, and, but no sacred persons. All people are sacred because everyone's made in the image of God. Nine, how does the religion develop or change over time? Well, depending on who you talk to, uh, the conservative movement, which I belong to, believes that uh, we, we have change, as any organic system must develop, but it's all tied to the commandment structure, and it's kind of interpreting and reinterpreting the laws, and only changing when you absolutely have to. Um, now, the Orthodox would say that you basically don't change over time, that you, the law never changes, you just interpret it. Uh, and then the Reform and Reconstructionist movement would probably be more open to the idea that there's significant change. What form has this change taken? Is there conflicts or disagreements, especially in modern times? How are they resolved? Well, we don't resolve all of them. We have disagreements, for example, over who's a Jew, or uh, is it the mother, the father who determines it, how you, how's proper conversion, how's proper divorce. Most of the issues have to do with personal status. Is it okay to drive on the Sabbath, to go to services, or to, to spend money on the Shabbat? There's a lot of uh, differences, and there have been some radical differences in how they're observed, all the way from the far left uh, to the far right. 
How diverse is the religion? Yes, there are many different, there are several different basic groups and divisions, and within those are even smaller divisions, like among Orthodoxy, there's countless different uh, divisions, the Hasidim, and within them sects like that. Even in the conservative movement, uh, there's uh, different ways of practicing. Who are the recognized leaders? Who determines, defines, and advises what is right, proper, sacred, ethical? Well, we don't have a, a, a pope. We have chief rabbis of Israel, but not everybody listens to them. Um, we have many different synagogues and different Jews uh, who observe different ways. Uh, we have no real consensus on exactly what to do in Jewish life. And we, um, we people look to their rabbis. The conservative rabbis, for example, look to our law committee to help us determine what's proper law. Uh, we do have some concrete foundation ideas about what Judaism stands for, but uh, it's a lot less organized. For example, we don't have the discipline of the Catholic Church and the Pope saying this is the way it is. We just we think we've thrived better without that kind of system. Does the religion have a mystical tradition? What's the religion of the mainstream? Well, uh, for some periods, it's called Kabbalah, uh, and for some periods of Jewish history, it was uh, much more significant and at the forefront than it is today, although it's making a comeback. There was a long period because of the science and the enlightenment where uh, rational Judaism was much more the forefront, for example, when I went to seminary uh, in the end of the 70s and early 80s, there was virtually no mysticism taught at my seminary, but today there's uh, a lot more being taught. How does the religion view other religions? Is there dialogue? Yes, there is. We do not believe you have to be Jewish to achieve salvation. We believe the righteous of all the nations achieve salvation. There are many paths to God. We believe that this is a great path for people to choose, and for Jews it's the appropriate path. Do we give more emphasis to scripture or worship? Well, um, we study the Bible. The Bible is the key to everything. Let's say that in the daily life of a person uh, in the community, that, that the, the idea of reading the Bible is key to our religious worship on the Sabbath, for example, and several times during the week. But perhaps worship there has more of a communal emphasis. Uh, the oral law, not so much the scripture, but the oral tradition, and now which is written in the Talmud, is studied with great intensity in very significant segments of the Jewish community. Perspective roles of men and women, well, it depends. In the Orthodox world, women uh, increasingly are participating in services on the left side of Orthodoxy, but in the main, they're not allowed to uh, do the things that men are allowed to do. In the conservative reform and reconstructionists, especially liberal conservative, women and men do exactly the same things in the ritual. What role do arts play in the religion? Music, dance, literature, fine arts? Well, now a great deal. There's all kinds of Jewish music and compositions and art. Uh, and dance, um, uh, it's really made a huge comeback. And especially the state of Israel, we have a laboratory for Jewish life, tremendous uh, arts. Hope this answers your questions. Uh, and uh, as succinctly as I can.